It was stuck in the door handle at the end of the hallway back there. Oh, no. Oh, shit! Yep. This is awesome, this part. That, that's why Hilda's amazing. Bam. Took out four. Well, three. Lee, shoot this fucker! No! No? One bubble ninja 720 are bringing you part four of my playthrough for telltales the walking dead season one when we left off unfortunately we lost katcha duck we gained chuck krista and omid and we managed to take a train to savannah and we had a little bit of a rude find out and ooh, around every corner episode four that looks ominous. Looks like we're stuck in a sewer. Everything's coming to a head. Because if y'all remember, Savannah is where Clementine's parents were last known to be. Previously on The Walking Dead. Oh, uh, I forgot Shut to recap. Shut up, Carly. Ugh, I've heard enough out of you. Now. What the You're gonna make me watch this again. You're not coming with us. She's supposed to drop the gun. I don't know much about you folks, but I can tell you as sure as the sun's gonna come up tomorrow. But y'all keep going on like this, and that girl ain't gonna make it. What do we do? Give me the gun, kid. I'll do it. We need to help find a boat. It's our best bet at safety. Okay, but we'll be in Savannah, and my parents were in Savannah. Okay, we'll look for them. I was the one giving the bandits supplies. What? Oh yeah, we got it's that shit fault. show dropped on we us too. We gotta jump! What? No way! <laughs> ah! Shit! Can't wait for you to get to Savannah, Clementine. I got your parents right here. And you be sure to find me, whether Lee wants you to or not. Now, what I do... Who the fuck? I don't know. But I doubt we're going to be happy when we find out. Yep. We had a lot of revelations happening. I changed up my usual thing. Usually I uh, push Omid off, help him, quote-unquote. But that gets Krista pissed off at you, so I decided to make a different route. You know, they technically didn't even have to ride off now that I think about it. They could have just battened down the hatches and they could have just waited underneath the bridge for the, everyone to jump onto the top. Would have been a lot safer. Oh, this is Savannah. Episode four, around every corner. Ah, oh, there you go, Chuck. That's an awesome, awesome way to have things. Shovel's an amazing weapon. Can't I just hold it? For a little while, we're getting real close to where my mom and dad are. Maybe I can. Not now, Clementine. Maybe later, okay? Okay. How's Omid? His leg's pretty bad. I'm fine. You're not fine. You need to rest. He needs to rest. Yeah, you're right. Kenny, hold up. Kenny, God damn it! I said, hold up. 
Omid needs to take a break. Let's give him a minute. We're almost at the river. Almost to the boats. Then it won't hurt to stop for just one damn minute. Yeah, it's Kenny to what wait around hell? for a mead. Maybe this that city's creates not a problem. So dead after all. Keep moving. No one's ringing that bell. It's automatic. On a timer. What kind of church bell goes off at 20 past the hour? <laughs> Someone's up there. Ninja. Are you sure? I don't see anything. I know what I saw. I'm telling you, there's someone up in that bell tower. Someone alive. If I were you, I'd get out of the street now. I thought you said that thing didn't work. Hello? Hello, are you there? I bet it gets the moving. What the hell was that? Is someone trying to fuck with us? Sounded more like a warning. Ask not for whom the bell tolls. What are you yammering on about? It tolls for thee. Oh, awesome. Teleporting zombies. Kind of looks like Larry. Everybody, run! Yeah, right in the face. Oh, now Omid can run. There you go, that's how you do it. That's not how you do it. Kenny! Bam. A little too close. Don't you think? Ben! Oh shit. No, Ben, help her! Yeah, shit show Ben. God damn it! Oh shit. I got all of them, right? Yes. Chuck the man. Get the hell out of here. I'll catch up with you. Move your asses. River Street's right up ahead. That's not all. I'll give ben. me a fucking break. Wait, where the hell's Chuck? <laughs> Shit, he's in trouble. We gotta help him. There's no time. We gotta go now. I'll be fine. Just go. Okay, now I mean, it looks like he's actually injured. Before he was sprinting like he was perfectly fine. Damn. Had to leave Chuck behind. I'll get Noble the guy. Should have closed that gate. You okay? Uh, yeah. You've opened up your wound. You're bleeding. Shit, it's gonna get infected. We've gotta get him inside. Clean him up. Kenny, how's that door coming? I'm working on it. I'm working on it. We'll work faster, would you? Won't be long before those things outside figure out where we went. You know they can smell blood. Lady, I ain't the one who's bleeding. Let me see if I can find us a way in. First things first, let's talk with everyone. Do you think the dead people saw us come back here? Are they going to find us? I say. Try not to worry. Even if they saw us, they can't get in here. We did. Why can't they? We're a lot smarter than they are. They're just like dumb animals. They can't open doors. We used to have a pet hamster. One night, we figured out how to open the door to his cage. And when we were 
woke up, he'd eaten half a box of cookies. I don't think this is quite the same, Clem. <laughs> yeah, right. This time we're the cookies. Just stay away <laughs> from the gate, and we'll see oh, if we get inside the house. How's he looking? I'm all right. You're not all right. You've reopened your wound, you're losing blood, and God only knows what might have gotten in there. It could be infected, it could be... No offense, but you really need to work on your bedside manner. <laughs> we'll take care She's of it. just worried about you, man. Don't worry. We're gonna get you fixed up in no time. Just as soon as we're inside, okay? Okay. Thanks, man. Please go and help Kenny. We need to get him inside now. I'm on it. Just sit tight. Hey, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> oh, Mead. I love your humor. Looks like something was buried here. I'm gonna assume the dog. The dog house. And well, hey, I still got the weapon. Why didn't I use the tool? Enough to drink that yet. You could filter it. There you go. This shovel. Not useful. Perfect fighting tool. About to go give Ben a little shit show. About what happened back there on the street. I know. I don't know what happened. I just froze up. Hasn't that ever happened to you? Just hear what I'm saying to you. You put that girl in danger again. It won't be walkers you have to worry about. I hear you. How do you think Kenny's holding up? I don't know. It's it's like all he can think about is finding a boat. He definitely doesn't want to talk about Katja and Duck. At least not with me. Maybe we should just let him deal with it in his own way. Think we can get in through one of these windows? Man, I don't think so. Whoever owned this place had them all barred up. Yeah, looks pretty solid. I'm gonna go check things out. All right. Yeah, now you see why I'm... You guys getting a picture why I don't like, uh... Damn. Why I don't like, um... Benny too much. Hey. How you holding up, man? Lee, I appreciate the interest, but I don't think talking about my feelings right now is going to help us get inside this house. You think maybe someone's still inside? Nah, we'd have heard from him by now, all the racket we're making. But whoever was here did a pretty good job fortifying it. Nice place to hole up. We could just figure out how to get in. How's it coming? Find a way in yet? Door's locked up tight. Too heavy to force it without making a whole lot of noise. Maybe there's a better way in. Well, if there is, I ain't seeing it. Maybe you should have a look around. See what you can find. Don't want to... Why would they fortify these windows on the second floor? I can understand the first floor. Why What's the this? first... Why the second floor? It's like there's some kind of pet door here. I tried it already. That's locked too. Who the hell ever heard of a locked doggy door? I have. My neighbor had one just like that. It's it's radio controlled. The dog wears a collar with a chip in it, so the door only opens when the dog gets close to it. Bullshit. Every day's a school day. <laughs> All right. So, where's the dog? Got an idea. Clementine got something else to say. Will we be inside soon? Yeah. Not much longer now. I hope so. It's getting cold out here. How you guys doing? Not great, so long as we're stuck out here. Will you please go figure out a way to get us inside? Okay, cool. I was kind of thinking that they would say something else. Hey, be careful. Digging up dead things isn't what it used to be, you know what I mean? Yeah, I hear you. Hey, what's buried down there? It 
is. It's been here a while. Ew. I can smell it from here. Gross. Clementine, honey, come sit with me and I'll need. Let Lee work. Oh, There's God, the pepper. The smell. I think they would have been used to it by now with all the walkers. Pretty sure the walkers aren't very um, uh, minty fresh. Must have belonged to someone. Get it off. Okay, that is not cool. Are you okay? I'm fine, honey. It's just the smell. Are you sure you're I said I'm fine, okay? I don't think it's just a smell. I don't need that anymore. I'm done digging at dead dogs for today. Uh, say something? Ooh, stinks like hell. You gonna say something about this too? Guess this used to be his home. Here goes nothing. Yes! God damn! You see anything in there? No. Looks like it's been empty a while. Better hurry it. The all's ass is up. Whatever you're gonna do, do it fast. Okay, let me see if I can reach up in there. Be careful, man. Nope. It's no good. I can't get it. Here. Let me try. I think I can. And then. Claire, are you okay? Say something. Ta-da! Oh, Good job, Clem. Yeah, way to go. You did good, right? Yes, you did. You did good. Can we maybe have this conversation inside? My leg's starting to hurt like hell. I want to give her praise because you don't want to discourage her too much. Looks okay from here. Everybody in. And judging by the fact that Lee had his arm like all the way in there to the shoulder and nothing really bad happened, I think she should have been able to take care of herself right away. is pretty big partially uh, palatial sorry sorry no it's okay I'm good I feel better already just being off my feet thanks babe so, pretty creaky though when were you gonna tell us about the radio tell you what that it's working that there's someone else on the other end of that thing you didn't think that might have been worth sharing with the rest of us? Well? I was gonna tell you. Kenny and I only found out yesterday. So both of you were keeping it from the rest of us. Great. I see whiskey. Who gives a shit about the damn radio? I'm more worried about whoever it was out there ringing that bell and bringing the dead down on top of us. It's like they didn't want us to make it to the river. What makes you think it's not the same person? Whoever was on the radio was close enough to see us in the street, and we didn't see anyone else other than the guy in the bell tower. Because that doesn't make sure a lick a of guy. damn sense. Why would they bring out the dead like that and then try to warn us about it? He's got a point. How much sense does anything make anymore? In case you haven't noticed, there's a lot of twisted folks out there these days. At least the dead don't play games with you. Whoever it was, seems like they're following us. And I don't like being followed. All the more reason to get on a damn boat where we can't be followed. I'm not going back out there anytime soon. Omid needs to rest. Oh, there's a bunch of bottles. We need to make sure Chuck is okay. 
Once it's quieted down outside, we'll all head towards the river. See if we can find him. Deal? Suit yourselves, but I'm not gonna wait around too long for someone else to grab up those boats. That's our ticket out of here. If they haven't been grabbed up already. Place seems secure at least. I'll feel better when we know that for sure. We need to check the whole house. <sighs> All right, fine. You and me will take the upstairs. Lee, you've got down here. Make sure you check every door, understand? Okay. Can I help? What if there's another locked door? I think you've been helpful enough for one day, kiddo. Why don't you just see if Kristen and Omid need anything, okay? Okay. Oh, you don't even get the chance to bring her with. Make sure the back backyard door is locked. I should finish checking the house before heading back outside. Or not. All empty. Nothing. Water's off. Hope we never get desperate enough for food that this starts looking appetizing. I'm not that hungry. Signs I need to finish checking the downstairs. <laughs> Dog food. Should be some more stuff in here. No, no power. power. Walter. <sighs> Thanks, Walter. You got us in. Cleaned out. Doesn't look like a fridge. It looks more like a cabinet. All right, that's everything here. Must have stopped working a while ago. How's and it coming? Whoever cleared this place out left behind two bottles of whiskey. Looks like someone didn't have their priorities straight. Solid table. And heavy. Doubt any looters would be able to haul that thing too far. Grab that whiskey. Probably not the best idea right now. I need to stay frosty. Oh, I was gonna give it to Omid, but okay. Hey guys. How's the house looking? Not done searching the first floor yet. But so far, so good. How's that couch treating you, Omid? Leg feeling better yet? I'm all right. Keep feeling? saying that. Finding this house was a hell of a stroke of luck. I like it a lot better when we know for sure it's safe. I'll make sure. But right now it feels like just the break we needed. Maybe our luck's starting to turn around. I'd like to believe that. Really, I would. Look, turning around can turn into a bad situation as well. What do you guys think about this plan at Kinney's? The guy's losing it. Look, Lee, I know he's your friend and all, but you need to be careful. That man is on the edge, and I don't know if I want to be around when he goes over it. Kenny's She's got a point. He's just been through a lot, that's all. I hope you're right. For all our sakes. Sit uh, tight. I'll keep checking the first floor to make sure it's safe. Thanks, Lee. Kenny's head been flying off the rail even when he was solid. Hold he it ain't up, solid okay. right now. I hope this house is safe. Have you checked all the rooms to make sure? No, but I'll take care of it. Uh, that's all you gotta say? Must be the family. Exactly my style. Closet. Nope, nope, 
that's nothing something. hiding in here. I think there's one more door over here. Check this out. Yep, closet. All clear in here. Just one more to check. And it's a two-parter. Jesus! <laughs> what? What happened? It's nothing. Just uh, nothing. And he sets it up to fall again. Well, place ain't got much. We should be okay here for a while. At least until it quiets down outside. Good. Thanks. Is he okay? Yeah, for now. But I'm really worried his leg might have gotten infected. Don't suppose you turned up any meds while you were poking around? Nah, just dog food. And there's some whiskey in the back. I was just asking Clementine if she knows who the man on her radio is. It's okay, honey. You can tell her. Who is he? What does he want? Go ahead, Clem. It's okay. You're not in any trouble. It's just a friend. I don't think he wants to hurt us. Yeah. What has he been saying to you? What have you been saying to him? I told him I was trying to find my parents and that they were in Savannah. He really seems nice. I think he wants to help me find them. Clementine, honey, trust me, that's not what he wants. He... Lee! Lee, you need to get up here now. What's uh, wrong? It's Kenny. Not good. Kenny said he thought he heard something up there. He went to go look. He's up there? I can't get him to come down. Stay here. Better have that gun drawn, buddy. Don't want to get snuck bit. Ah, <sighs> oh, man. Kenny? Kenny, you okay, man? Jesus, what the hell is that? Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Before. Can't do it now. I can't ask you to do this, man. I'll take care of it like I did before. Are you sure? I guess we'll find out. Yeah, I'm not going to make Kenny do it. If I'm not going to force him to kill his own son, I'm not going to force him to kill another person's kid. hide out up here until he starved to death. Oh, this could have been Clementine if I hadn't found her when I did. Um...
do it quietly. I'm sorry. Just do it yourself. We should bury him. I'll take care of it. Yeah, the spanner or the, the hook would have been too much of a brutal move and the gun's loud and will counterproductive to what we're trying to do by hiding out. I thought that playing the game would have uh, been seeing like multiple people play the game already. My emotions would have been kind of steeled against the story. But I still find myself like, you know, <laughs> having those little emotion um, hitches, emotional hitches. <sighs> Not gonna say anything? Guess not. Fitting to bury him with his dog. You'll make me do this each time. I don't think it's going to change much anything. Oh, Jesus. from us Lee what's going on I saw someone standing there by the fence watching us a walker no I told the truth too fast took off like a bat out of hell when I spotted him was it a man or a woman didn't get a good enough look what it's a guy it I'm wondering if it's the same guy who's been following us the guy on the radio Kenny? I'm fine. I just... I'm fine. What's all the ruckus? Lee saw someone watching us from outside the gate. What? Who? I can't be sure. They ran off before I could get a good look. I don't like this one bit. Not one bit. Me either. Walkers are one thing. But the thought of someone out there actually stalking us. Alright, that's it. We've stuck around here long enough. It's time to get back on track. Time to get down to the river and find ourselves a boat. I don't know if Omid's well enough to move yet. Well, he better get ready, because I'm going down to River Street right now to find a boat. And as soon as she's ready to go, we're moving out. I don't know if it's safe to leave just yet. Why the hell not? Walkers look to have cleared out. That's not all I'm worried about. So you'd rather just hunker down here and just let whoever's out there keep us boxed in? Wait for them to starve us out? No thanks. I hate to say it, but Kenny's right. Omid's not in great shape to move, but we can't do anything for him here. 
Without meds or a doctor, uh. he's only gonna get worse. Uh, I was right, actually I'll looking out for Omid, but I'll okay. I'll head to the river with Kenny to scope out a boat, while you get Omid ready to move. What about me? You'll stay here with the group. You'll only slow us down. Wait, can't I come? My mom and dad can't be far now. Maybe we can look for them on the way to the river. Um... Uh... Clem, honey, I, I think it'd be best if you stayed here with Ben. I need you to watch out for Omid and Krista. Help them get ready to move out. You said I'm supposed to always stay close to you. I know, it. it's just this once. Sometimes we all have to put aside what we want for the good of the group. Hey, don't worry. I'll be back before you know it, okay? Okay. Daylight's burning. Gonna go grab my gear, then we'll head out. Come I don't on, know if telling her Omid needs anything. that her parents are dead would have helped or not. So, you're just gonna leave me on the bench here? That's not how it is, Ben. I need you to stay here and keep an eye on Clementine. I can do that. Well, just so we're clear. While I'm gone, anything or anyone tries to get inside this house, you shoot them. Don't even think twice about it. Understand? I got no problem shooting walkers. Did you hear what talk I about said? walkers. Anything or anyone. Good. Just to bend to look after Clementine. Chris is already watching Omid and kind of technically saying, like, looking after Clementine evens it out. Plus, they're you're both paying attention anyways. <sighs> Infected. East Bay and Lincoln. Can he just walking like a zombie? He says he's from Florida, but he apparently knows Georgia as well. I guess maybe he set up shop around here too. Talk about it? About what? About what happened back there in the attic. No. You sure, man? I mean, River's right up ahead. I think he's pissed no matter what you do. Son of a bitch. That bastard's fucking with us again. It's another trap. No, listen. That's not the same bell as before. This one's further off. Whatever it is, it's gonna get the dead moving over there. Oh shit. Better mosey. What in the hell is going on? They're hurting. I don't know, but the person ringing that bell might be doing us a favor. Whatever, man. I find whoever's doing that, I'll ring their motherfucking bell for them. That's a good one. <laughs> Let's keep moving. Still nothing moving behind us. I think we're... Oh my god. Yeah, that boat ain't working. There's gotta be a boat. There's gotta be. I'm not gonna say anything. Silence is a valid uh, response. This one might still be salvageable. I'm not gonna say anything. Yet. I'll check it out. 
You look further along the waterfront. Maybe there's something at the other end. I don't think we should split up too far. We don't have to. See that telescope? You can see all the way along the waterfront from right here. See what you can find. Okay. Oh. Cruddles. Remember this thing for later. Someone must have been trying to back their boat into the water. Only things didn't go as planned. Yeah, they probably hurried. like the whole city has been boarded up for all the good it did again why are you boarding all these windows up the dead aren't flying and they can't climb either must have taken weeks to board up all these windows depending on how many people you had going an abandoned newsstand It's an old cash register. Not much use these days. What the hell are these markings? They're all over the place. I believe the markings set up. Oh, look at that over there. The uh, markings, I believe, set up for uh, what you would call it. Um, uh, like if the building's been checked, whatnot, cars have been stripped. They are siphoned, tires removed, engine parts missing. Looks like this thing has been stripped clean. Bare bones. Looks like it's still intact. Locked. Must have been a hell of a. Yep. For that trolley to flip. I'll just have a look around, okay? <laughs> yeah. Jesus. That Ken Meister is going to have stuff to say. That is a lot. Stay out. Great. Needs a quarter to work. Oh, yeah. <laughs> As if you didn't see it already. Yeah. Using walkers like scarecrows. What sick bastard did this? Well, the other thing about it is, is that it masks. Could be military tags. Yeah. What do they mean? Um, probably means the amount of infected inside and whatnot, and also, um, but the way that that's set up the walker wall people aren't going to climb through that because they're going to risk infection second of all walkers are probably not going to go near it because it doesn't smell like people or food I should say Hello, beautiful. empty yeah that would have been too easy what happened to the 60 cents that you had?
still locked. There's the quarter. Didn't want to make the noise, but got the quarter. Oh, whoop. Didn't get used. I didn't notice that the, uh, the raised area. I thought it was all flat. Fuck! What's up with the boat? It ain't gonna work. Hulls crack beneath the water line, plus someone stripped out the battery. You can't fix it? <laughs> Just noticed this, Ken Meister. What the? What the hell is that? A fate worse than death. Abandoned, like every other place in this city. Plenty of docks, no boats. No way that one's salvageable. Well, you just take bits and pieces and cobble yourself together one. Nothing but water, not a boat to be seen. Oh. The hell? Get down! Get down! I wanted to look right too, but I guess I uh, jumped up and hit the ground running. And got to Why the right the hell part. Are we hiding? Someone came down from that building at the end of the street. Where'd he go? Saw him run into that newsstand. Could be our bell ringer. How about we go find out? We didn't come here looking for trouble. Yeah, well, it seems to have a way of finding us anyways. Look, this could be the guy from the radio. The one who's been messing with us. If he is, we can put an end to it right now. Okay, you head up the middle of the street. I'll go around the side, cover your flank. We'll come up on him quiet, taken by surprise. <laughs> we just want to talk to this guy. Oh, we're gonna talk. Yeah. This is gonna go over so well. Yep. I hit the button, but okay. I love this weapon. No! Clem? Please, don't hurt him! You're not from Crawford. Yep. Crawford? What the hell are you talking about? Kenny, don't! Uh, <laughs> nice one. No, he's with us! Now we got the dead on us. Who the hell are you people? Everyone just calm down. I'll calm down once she tells me who the fuck she is. Back off, asshole. The name's Molly. Oh. Molly's a cool character. I like her. Not looking for any trouble. Hi. You guys really aren't from Crawford, are you? No, I'm from Macon. 
Kenny hears from Floor. She didn't ask for our life stories, Lee. What's the deal with this Crawford place? You sure you want to know? When everything started going to shit, some people got together and sealed off that whole neighborhood. Folks willing to do anything to stay alive. Stop the yep. dead getting in. I try to avoid them. Why? Let's just say they have a zero tolerance policy for anyone who won't or can't live by their rules. So how'd you know we weren't them? They don't have kids. Because there are no children in Crawford. Not anymore. What do you mean, no children? Why not? No children, no elderly, no one with an advanced medical condition. Basically, no one who might be a burden on the community. Crawford's all about the survival of the fittest. That's how they survive, while the rest of the world went to shit around them. Jesus Christ. Well, just the opposite when you think about it. <laughs> That's not how our group does things. You're not saying they actually... I mean, kids? No, the children, they just forced to leave, along with their parents. Left them to fend for themselves out here in the world. They pretty much died. Like I said, zero tolerance. Crawford got rid of anyone that couldn't pitch in, pull their own weight. The way they looked at it, those people were just a lot of useless mouths to feed. A drain on their precious resources. Knew all this. Everyone in Savannah knew. What was going on inside Crawford got passed around like a ghost story. Except this one was true. Uh, I don't trust that for a minute. Usually when they have that much information, they're involved in some way, shape, or form. Clem, what the hell are you doing here? How'd you get out of the house? Well, Meat started getting really sick. Krista and Ben had to take him upstairs. I didn't just want to sit around there. I wanted to come help. I told you we didn't need any help. Really? Because if it weren't for her showing up when she did, I would have beaten your brains out. That's debatable. Uh-huh. Do you know who's been ringing those bells all over town? Yeah, that would be me. I knew it! Lee, I knew she was the one who's been following us. Fucking with us. Get that finger out of my face, Grandpa, before I jam it straight up your ass. <laughs> I haven't been following you. I don't even I know didn't who mean the hell you people though. Calm down, Kenny. The voice on the radio was a guy, remember? Yeah, well, whoever you are, ringing those bells this morning nearly got us all killed. Raise the dead all around us. That's the idea, genius. It's how I get around. I ring a bell in one neighborhood to attract the local geeks towards it. Buys me some time to scavenge the areas they cleared out. Geeks? Is that what you call them? Yeah, you know, like at the carnival, they'll eat anything, alive or dead. That's pretty smart, the bells. Doesn't take much to outsmart the dead. A bunch of dumbasses. You just gotta move fast, get in and out before they start to wander back again. Look, I'm gonna ask you people again. You're not from Crawford, so who the hell are you? What are you doing here? Just trying to survive, same as you. And the only way we're gonna survive is by getting on a boat and getting the hell out of here. Yeah, good luck with that. Anyone with a boat took it out of here as soon as people started eating each other. Any that got left behind, Crawford stripped them for parts. Cars, too. There's gotta be yep. something. If there was, do you think I'd still be here? I've been over every inch of this city. This whole place is picked clean. God, why are you still scavenging? It. Fuck! Hey, moron, you wanna keep your voice down? Shit. Since you're not getting on any boat, I'd advise you folks to go back to where you came from before. Uh, Molly would have killed both of them easily. Wait, uh, no, not too. Never mind. Should have taken the Lee out at least. Kenny had a beat on her. Isn't that the, the way we came? Fuck. Gunshot must have brought him back. Isn't there another way back to the house? Molly, is there a. <laughs> and parkour. Hey, you're just gonna leave us here? That didn't Sorry, give me very good. Sorry, I must good. have missed that part of our conversation where you became my problem. Don't leave us here, please. 
They did not give me enough like time to choose. I didn't even get to read the bottom one. Come on, make it fast. Nah, uh, I'd rather not, Ken. And drop me again. He's good for that. Fast, they're gonna start dumping down. Move. Clementine, can you hear me? If you can hear me, just get back to the house, okay? I'll meet you there. Yeah, just give away your position to anything that's down there. I don't think it's a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Splinter. No going back now. Oh yeah, she tossed away my spanner. Or the hook or whatever. But I got her uh I got her climbing pick. No way I can pry that open. Let's go that way. So let's back a decent away. Nothing. Okay, let's go wherever we're just supposed to go, Dean. Careful. Don't fall. But when he changed his position, I thought he was. Oh. Always good for a slip. Oh, that's not good. Half eaten sewer rats. Walkers must be down here too. Ain't touching that. The last thing I need is some god awful disease. You don't have to touch it, you could just be kicking it like you were doing. They're over here. Yep. Oh. You saw who that was, right? What does this do? Okay. Let him play in the water. Gotta love it.
think you turn it left. There you go. That makes even more noise. Yeah, you see who it is. Okay, I think there's all Well, except for that one. Yep. Oh my god. Chuck. He must have tried to hide out down here. Poor bastard. No bullets. He must have saved the last one for himself. You deserve better, old man. He did. All of a sudden, you can't hear the water anymore. Oh, shit. Oh. That scared the shit out of me. Oh, no, 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 not the gun, not the gun, not the gun, not the gun. Oh. I didn't mean the gun. I meant to do this. I didn't mean to do that either. Jesus friggin' Christ. I did that completely out of order and I screwed that up royally. X is usually my go-to button for like some most of the video games I played. And they they've done me dirty. They used it for the handgun. Fallout shelter. Huh. Must have been one of those old nuclear fallout shelters. I see supplies. Definitely. All this. It's enough to keep people alive for months. Yep. <laughs> Who are you? It's all right. It's okay. I, I don't want any trouble. Neither do we, uh, which is why you'd do well to turn around and leave right now. Look, I'm sorry I disturbed you folks. I'll just be going. You can't let him leave. He's from Crawford. If he goes back there and they find out we're down here. Are you from Crawford? They don't lie to me. I'll know. Where else can he be from? Everywhere else around here is dead. I think you better start talking. Came here with a small group hoping to find a boat. We just want to get out of here. How about you just let me go? Ain't no boats around here. Crawford took everything. Yeah, I heard. You can't trust him, Vernon. You can't let him leave. Uh. What do you want me to do? Shoot him in the head? Why not? Be more of a mercy than anyone from Crawford ever showed us. Think, Vernon. What do you think they'll do if they find out we're down here, right under their feet? Damn it. You're right. I'm sorry, friend. Can't take the risk. Look, I don't want to do this. Let's talk, okay? What's to talk about? You won't even tell us who you are. My name is Lee. I'm a history professor. And I don't want to die today. Yep. And I don't think you want to kill me either. Don't. Don't come any closer, or I'll shoot. 
Come on, let's just talk about this. Vernon, what are you doing? Shoot him! Nobody needs to get shot. Just take it easy. It's all right. It's okay. Vernon, what the hell are you doing? Vernon! Relax. I'm not here to hurt you. I'm just going to pocket your gun. Now everyone's happy. You're really not from Crawford? No. I'm really not. Well, uh, we are. Or were. We got out of there when they started sealing up the place. You know, started weeding out the sick and the old so the perfect survivor society wouldn't be threatened. It's flawed. No room for weakness or vulnerability in their little master race. You don't look that old. So, you're sick? We're sick. We're all members of a cancer survivors group that used to meet here at the hospital. We're in remission. But that wasn't good enough for Crawford. They'd already rounded up five of us before the rest of us managed to hole up and hide from them down here. This old basement's been abandoned for years. What is this? A morgue? Yeah. Irony's always high on my list when I'm looking for a place to survive. How did you find your way down here? A few of us got boxed in by walkers up on the street. Came down here trying to get away. Now I just want to get out of here and get back to my own people. Well, that sewer system you came through runs all over the city. It'll take you wherever you want to go. Those sewers are like a damn maze. Any chance you could help me find my way back? Look, I'd like to help you, but we've all got our own problems. Two hmm. of our group are sick and need constant care, and I'm the only doctor here. Besides, why should we help you? Look, I'm sorry if I scared you. I just want to get back to my people. Back to Clementine. She's your daughter? No. She lost her real parents. I'm doing what I can. You're not seriously considering going with him. It's all right, Bree. I had a daughter, too. Lost her in the first days. I'll be damned if I'll just sit back and let that happen to someone else. We need you here. Don't worry. I'll be back before you know it. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, Chuck said the same thing. And you saw what happened to him. He became a walker chew toy. But I'm glad we're getting the help. Because Vernon's a doctor. We could use him for Omid. Ugh. Clementine? Clem? Hey, Molly. Molly? Oh, hey, you made it back. Who's this? He didn't tell you about me? Understandable, I guess. I'm the one who put that beating on him when he tried to jump me back at the river. He's the fossil. This is Vernon. He's a doctor. He helped me get back here after we got separated. He answered Mal truthfully. I think you have something that belongs to me. I like her choice of tools. Lee, thank God you're back. Krista, what's wrong? It's Omid. He's gotten worse. Much worse. We have a man wounded. Who's this? This is Vernon. He's a doctor. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Could you take a look at him? Extremely convenient. You have to help us. Please. I'll see what I can do. Take me to him. Omid, honey, you're gonna be all right. Lee brought a doctor. All right, let's take a look at him. I work better without an audience. I'm sure you have more things of your own to attend to. 
Usually it's how doctors work best. Clementine. Clementine? I think she's in there. Okay, can't go there. I think she is in the study. Clementine, you in here? No. Nope. Where is she? I'll have time to rest later. Examine the closet. Clementine? Of course she's not in there. Clem, you in book. here? <laughs> A lot of cabinet space here. Clementine's drawing. Clem's drawings. But where is she? Oh, she did one of Lee? Don't see her anywhere out there. Uh, no walkers either, though. Doesn't That's look good. like she's in here. No shit, Sherlock. Clementine, you here? Clem? Ain't got time for that. <laughs> cool. We're going back out. It looked like he hit himself in the head there for a second. With the dough. Getting dark out. Don't see her out there. Clementine, you up there? Shit, where could she be? Probably in here. Hello? Molly. What are you doing? Oh, you know, just poking around. You won't find anything. We already searched the place. You'd be surprised what people miss. Trust me, I've been doing this for a while. Yeah, she's good at scavenging. Where's Clementine? Don't ask me, I'm not her keeper. Hey, do I look like I'm in the mood to be jerked around? Where did she go? Last I saw, she was downstairs with your redneck friend and that college kid who hangs around with him. Why don't you go bug them? Molly? I told you, that girl isn't with me. Go ask your buddies and quit bothering me. I wanted to talk to you. I don't care about that. I just want to find Clementine. Clementine? No sign of her in here. Layout of the house is kind of wonky. Did I come from this way? Yeah, I did. Here's that room, that door was Clem? for the bathroom. Clementine? Oh, oh whoops. Everything okay in there? We're fine. Just leave us alone and let the doctor work. <laughs> God, that's where uh, Omid Christ is burning her at. Come out, please! Hey, didn't fall this time. Doesn't look like she's in here. <laughs> you can tell just by looking, dude. It's a little too tiny. Kenny? Oh, hey, you made it back. Good job. Good job. What the hell do you think you're doing? He's what drunk. does it look like? Where'd you get the bottle? Found, Found it. it. First good thing that's happened since... I'm not gonna say anything. What the hell are you looking at? Getting wasted's not gonna help anyone. Yeah? Well, what is? We are fucked. Molly said there's not a single boat left in Savannah. 
No way out. We got walkers all around us, that crazy fuck on the radio messing with us. Hell, if now ain't the time for a drink? Have either of you seen Clementine? Damned if I know. Gotta be around here somewhere. Ben, I gave you one job when I left here. Take care of Clementine. Then she shows up out on River Street looking for me. The hell happened? Hey, don't put all that on me. Omid took a turn for the worse, and Krista asked me to help. I'm sorry, I'm doing the best I can here. She was frantic, and things got kind of crazy. I told Clementine to stay put. What else could I do? It's okay. I'm not mad at you. I just want to know where she is. I think she went out to play in the backyard. On her own? With no one watching her? Man, will you get off my back? She's fine out there. She better be or it's your ass. Yeah, Ben, you make some pretty shitty decisions, dude. Clementine? Clementine! I don't want to be causing too much of a ruckus to really bring the walkers back. You didn't even bury him all the way. Should have finished that up. Doors covered in violence. Don't think anyone came in through there. Yeah, but the door's being banged. On. Oof. Hey, girl. Come look. Look what I found. Mainly for the fact of this. Hey, yeah. Drops the bottle. Which conveniently disappears when you pan out. Meat's doing okay? As well as can be expected under the circumstances. I did what I could for him. Cleaned out the wound, but he's got a real infection. Running uh -oh. fever. Without antibiotics, I... Will you quit pacing? You're making everyone nervous. Why are you even still here? Hey, if your friend really can get that boat working, you're taking me with you as payment for saving your asses. I figure that's fair enough, don't you? Yeah. Well, good news or bad news? You want the good news or the bad news? Take the bad Let's news get the first. Bad news out of the way first. Bad news is she's not taking us anywhere. The shape she's in right now, gas tanks empty and the battery's dead. So what's the good news? That's it. That's all she needs: some gas and a battery. 
Other than that, she's good to go. Well, how are we supposed to get that stuff? Sounds like Crawford is the one place that has everything we need. Maybe we should try there. Now hold on a minute. Surely we have to try? If there are people left in this city who are still alive, who still have supplies, what harm can it do to ask? Trust me, you don't know these people. I do. You showing up with a wounded man, might as well put a noose around his neck. They don't exactly welcome children with open arms either. What the hell kind of a place are we talking about here? The worst kind? But I don't see what other choice we have. And just how exactly do you figure we do this? Sewers. Because from what I've heard, that place ain't exactly friendly to outsiders. That's putting it mildly. There's got to be some way we can sneak in there undetected. There might actually be a way. I know the sewer system that runs beneath Crawford like the back of my hand. Y'all wouldn't happen to have a map by any chance. Yeah, actually. There you go. I think I could lead us through so we could pass under the perimeter and right into the center where they keep their supplies. We come up right underneath them, take them by surprise, grab what we need, and get out before they even knew what hit them. That's actually not the worst idea I've ever heard. I mean, it's close, but I don't know. Maybe it could work. I've thought about it before, just never had the people to do it. But I think if we all work together, we could pull it off. And what do you want in return for all this help you're giving us? Meds. Crawford doesn't just have what you need for your boat. They're also well stocked with medical supplies. Medicine that my people could use, just as yours could. We can do this. We have to. So, it's decided then? We're going to Crawford? We can do this. I know it. Hell yeah, we can. Are we seriously talking about this? I mean, what about the risk? I don't know about you, kid, but I'd rather take a chance on doing something than just sitting around here waiting to die. Yeah. That boat much. out there is an answered prayer. Just gotta push a little bit farther. Are you in or out? We should go tonight, under cover of dark. I'll go let my people know. Give you all a chance to prepare. I'll be back before midnight. Be careful. That's how I'm still alive. <laughs> I told you to stay in your room. How long have you been there? Is it going to be dangerous? Is what going to be dangerous? Crawford. I can't lie to you, Cliff. Yeah, it's going to be dangerous. But it's the only way to get the things we need to make Omi better and get the boat working. That's why we have to do this. Do you understand? I don't want anyone else to die. Neither do I, Clem, but sometimes we have to take that kind of risk. Yep. Why couldn't you just rig the boat for a ready. sail? Uh, Say what now? You said you'd need all of us to do this, and you said I'm a big help, remember? Mm. Molly said Crawford is the only place left in Savannah that still has people. That means it must be where my mom and dad are, right? Clementine, I think it'd be safer for you to stay here with Omi. Well, what if something happens to him while you're gone? What do you mean? He's sick. If he doesn't get better and, you know, he might try to hurt me. Can't I come with you? Oh, I can't do this. <sighs> I'm going to make the same choice I made last time. He's not going to bring her. No. I'm sorry. Chose to leave Clementine at the house. Sorry, Clem. It's dangerous for children. Should have picked that one.
Check out what I found in the garage. Hatchet, hacksaw, some other tools. Might come in handy on this little break-in. Nice. Can I talk to you a minute? What's up? I took another look at the boat. She's a 30-footer. So? So we're gonna have a capacity problem. Boat that size ain't gonna hold more than five people. Even with one of them a kid. Me, you, Clara, Krista, Oni, Ben, Harley. Assuming Seven. everyone makes it back alive, that's still one too many. Wait. Even if we cut Molly loose. Before this is over, we're gonna have to make a decision. You're not serious. Look, I'm just saying, if we want the best chance of... Who the hell is this? This is Bree. She can help us. Um, well, if she knows the way. We're gonna need all the help we can get. I was a student at the school where Crawford keeps their supplies. Bree appreciates my support. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get moving. Hold up just a sec. You understand why you have to stay behind, don't you? I guess. Plus, you have a job to do. An important job. I need you to stay here and watch over the house. Watch over Omid. Well, what should I do if something happens while you're gone? Here. I want you to take this. You remember how to use it, don't you? Just like I showed you. I remember. So if anyone tries to get inside the house, Chester with it the isn't one of us. Or if something does happen to Omid. I know what to do. Yeah, don't go jumping the gun Let's and thinking that he's inside. dead. And then you know, really, you know, making it permanent. Let's get this over with. Ah, uh, trusty hatchet. But, unfortunately, if you don't know how to wield it correctly, it's going to get caught in certain places whenever you try to use it to strike. This should be it. We're right underneath the center of Crawford. The old school should be directly above us. Okay, people. This is it. Remember the plan. I like we stay quiet. Molly's we stay hidden. Climb and pick. We stay together. It's amazing. We find what we need, and we get the hell out before anyone even knows we're there. Got it? I'll take point. Can't get a good look above with the cover on. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, ghost town. Where is everybody? There should be guards patrolling. What? Are you disappointed? It's just Kinda. strange is all. I think I see one over there by the door. Okay, me and Kenny will sneak up, try to take him out quiet. The rest of you wait for our signal, then follow us over. Everybody got it? Okay, Kenny, let's do this quiet. No shooting unless there's no other choice. Right behind you. <laughs> it whips out the fucking rifle anyways. What the fuck? Yep. Walker doing inside here. Yeah, they're overrun. Get inside fast. Uh -huh. Um, Crawford Society. Their survival of the fittest is doomed to fail. Without children, unfortunately, there is no future. So. Do you think they 
saw us. Your guess is as good as mine. Shit. Your answer freaked Bennett. What the hell out. happened here? I thought this place was supposed to be secure. What always happens, I guess. In the end, the dead always win. Oh man, we are so screwed. <laughs> no, this is good. Vernon's right. We can deal with walkers easier than armed guards. Yep. I agree. So long as we don't let them box us in, we can still do this. The plan hasn't changed. The plan hasn't changed? Every time walkers show up, the plan changes. Do you even have any idea how many of them are out there? No. You want to do a head count? Or do you want to get what we need and get the hell out of here? There we go. Come on. I think I know which way to head. I got a bad feeling about this. Yeah, because you're there. You have a bad habit of fucking things up. Just keep moving. Here. Looks okay. Everybody in. New base of operations. Looks like they were using this room as some kind of command center. Yep. Okay, so now what? Where do we start looking? Here. Just give me a sec. Where would be the best place to look for medicine? The, ner uh, the nurse's right here. office. Nurse's station. They were using it as a medical facility. How do you know that? <laughs> Just makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah, acting funny, huh? Any idea where we could find a battery? Uh, maybe at the auto shop. There used to be one in the alley outside the fire escape. Yep, it's called Herman's. You can't miss it. What about the fuel? Where should I start looking? There's a maintenance shed across from the playground here. If they were storing fuel, that's probably where it'll be. Okay, I'll make the run to the maintenance shed for the fuel. It'll be faster if I go with you. I can take you right to it. I'll come too. No, two people's enough. You stay here, see if you can use any of those tools we brought to get that armory door open. We might need to shoot our way out of here. I'll go for the medicine. I'll come with you. I know what to take. Okay. Guess that leaves me to go find us a battery. I'll go with you. Watch your back. Yeah. Okay, we've got a plan. Everyone be careful. Stay close to one another. We'll all meet back here. Good luck. Silhouette. Interesting tidbit, Brie, that character, she, if I remember correctly, she is the winner of a special contest and got her character, uh, her likeness made into a character for the game. Pretty cool, eh? Kind of hope it's true. That'd be pretty so badass. Fuel is at the maintenance shed. 
Medicine might be at the nurse's office, and a battery would probably be at the auto shop out through here. And it wasn't just Bree. It was also Vernon saying something, and also uh, Molly. Uh, the fuel's in a shed across from the playground. It's just outside the stairwell. If we're going to find medicine anywhere, that would be the place to look. Bree said the entrance to the auto shop was in the alleyway by this fire escape. I thought that that's what Vernon said. The Georgia State flag. A lot of history there. Not that it matters much now, I guess. No power, no TV. No duh. Hopscotch. Oh, it is hopscotch. Creepy. Hey, wait. One of those dolls kind of looks like the one from um, Jolene's camp. Might come back for these later. Any reading material would be nice once we get on that boat. That boat won't be protecting you from the elements. Up oh, there's where you get the system here. Yep. Crawford's final solution. Initials of person conducting search. Mm -hmm. Number of ineligible citizens found. Number of citizens brought to Crawford. Number of walkers found. Days since outbreak. Ah. Have to wonder what's going on in the rest of the world. Same shit's happening here. Just a bunch of paste. Could potentially use that. Nothing else here? Well, we'll go talk with Benny. Ben Meister! You getting that door open yet? Like to get some shooty shooty bang bang done. Need any help with that? Thanks, I got it. Just once I'd like to do something useful, you know? Well, uh, I'll let you get on with it. No, wait. There is something you can help me with. Something that's been on my mind. I could use your opinion. What is it? It's Kenny. Since I've been helping him work on the boat, I've gotten to know him a little better. He's a good guy, you know? And it's eating me up knowing what I know. I've been thinking about telling him the truth. Ben, come on. This no. again? It's my fault Doc and Katja got killed. If I hadn't screwed up back at the motor inn, they'd still be alive. How am I supposed to just carry something like that around? I have to tell him. Ben. No offense, but have you lost your motherfucking mind? <laughs> Kenny's barely hanging on. Yeah. You tell him you're to blame? I don't even want to think about what he might do. I know. I've thought about that. But I don't know how much longer I can keep looking him in the eye. I feel like I'm lying to him by not telling I'm him. I'm telling you, man, it's a bad idea. Real. Real bad. Hey, maybe you're okay walking around with somebody's blood on your hands, but that's not who Ooh. I am. I can't just pretend it never happened. Look. We need Kenny. We need him to hold his shit together if we're ever gonna get out of here. So you need to keep this to yourself, for the good of everyone. You hear me? I hear you. I'm gonna get back to this. Benny, Benny, Benny. Pain in my ass. Did I look at the shelf? Nothing but crayons and construction paper. Clementine could use that. Pardon, pardon me. Did not mean to yawn in your ear. Principles of Crawford. All illnesses and medical conditions must be disclosed to the council. Children oh. children under 14 not permitted without authorization. Anyone asked to leave Crawford cannot return under any circumstances. Theft or looting within the district will not be tolerated. Waste not. Make the most of your rations. Must be the guy who ran this place. Overson. Looks like he figured himself as some kind of supreme leader. Oberson the Overson.
Can't do anything with that door there. There's Molly. The alleyway the to the auto shops down here. You coming or not? This must be the way to the playground where Bree said the fuel was being stored. We Hasn't go that way. Much time yet. I better let Bree and Kenny do their thing. Okay. Locked. Well, I didn't need to use the bathroom anyway. Showcase case was all over. Whatever happened here wasn't good. Pick him up. I've already been fired. Oh, never mind. Worthless. Well, you could probably use the casings and re uh reset them. It's the same thing. Yep. The same overman. Must be Live the guy who within the rules, place. live safe. Looks like he figured himself as some kind of supreme leader. Logan. Too bad I don't know the combination to any of these. Can't open it without the combination. Making sure it wasn't just like, you know, just closed and not locked. It's empty. Those Crawford people probably locked this stuff up somewhere. Probably. And the next thing you know, it's a box of the stuff. You guys need any help? Thanks, but I think we're almost in. We're taking care of it, Lee. Don't worry. Okay, cool. Catch y'all later. Must be the door to the alleyway where the auto shop is. But where the hell is Molly? Already outside. Molly, you out here? Guess I'm not going that way. Yep, definitely not going that way. Looks like there's some graffiti on the wall, but I can't see it. Got yeah, glare on the screen. It's over this way. Nope, chain link fence. Okay. Uh, authorized motor pool workers only. Deliveries made in rear. Hit. <laughs> Auto shop must be down this way. Looters will be shot on sight. Oh, that was creepy. Someone is a ninja other than me. Okay. That's mosey. Herman Auto Body. Herman's. This is the place I'm looking for. Well, climbing the fence isn't an option. It is if you can find a way to cover the barbed wire. Photo ID requested beyond this point. They're gonna hold you. There you go. Must be the entrance to that auto shop where Bree said we'd find that battery. Cool. Let's look down this way. Better not get too close. Yeah, that fence is really rickety. Damn, it's jammed tight. What do 
I do? Can't radio. Oh. Ooh. Leave him. He's mine. Heroic entrance. What were you doing up there? I think you got him. I think you got it. One more. He's wearing medical scrubs. Some kind of scientist or doctor, maybe? Yeah, well, he ain't shit now. Did you find us a way in? Yeah, but the garage door's jammed. Can't raise it. Keep making noise. Not a problem. Look what I found. Oh yeah, that'll work. Uh oh. Don't just sit there and watch. Oh ass. I think it's hit next time. Yeah, you had precious seconds that you wasted staring off into space. Uh oh. He ain't dead. Take a look around. I'll make sure no stragglers get under this door. Talk with you first. Something you need? So why did you decide to help us? I told you. I'm expecting a ride on that boat once that hillbilly friend of yours has got it running. <laughs> you sure that's all of it? You want to keep interrogating me? Or do you want to get the damn battery and get out of here? What do you think happened to Crawford? Don't know, don't care. As far as I'm concerned, these fuckers got what was coming to them. Not a lot of sympathy for all the people who died here, huh? They didn't I have it. about as much for them as they did for the sick and the old and anyone else they didn't think was fit to belong in their little paradise. So yeah, fuck them. What was all that about back there? He came at me up on that rooftop, tried to take a bite out of me, so I took care of business. What, you got a problem with me killing geeks? No. It just seemed like you went to town on him a little more than you needed to. Yeah, that was hey, personal. you never really know when those things are all the way dead. I was just making sure. Look, you want to get this battery or not? Time's wasting. I'm going to have a look around. You do that. You wanted to make sure it was dead, you would have went for the head. Maybe there's a car battery in there we can use for the boat. Maybe. Well, I can see where the battery should be, but it's not. Perfect. Looks like Crawford had their own semi-trucks. Yeah, it does look like that, don't it? That blinky must be an anti-theft system. Good chance of a working battery being in that car, if I can find a way to get up there. Eh. Uh. I can't reach it up there. More of Crawford's rules. How did anybody live like this? I'd rather take my chances on the outside. You never know. Can you go through here? It's locked. locked. No way in. Unless you break the glass. Looks like it's the hose for the lift hydraulics. It's 
there, the but controls the hydraulic lift over there. No power. Hey, Molly. Need a favor. You need? Think I can borrow that uh, hook thing of yours? I don't know. Hilda and I have been through a lot together. Hilda? <laughs> That's what I call her. Don't judge. Please, can I borrow Hilda? I'll take good care of her. She won't get a scratch. <laughs> I got your promise now. Not a scratch. God, I love Molly. Molly's amazing. I did it. Whoa, whoa. That's probably not good. No shit. I'll try to hold him off. Hurry. There's the battery. Finally, something goes right. No, not really. Still attached to the terminals. Still attached to the terminals. Still attached to the terminals. God damn it. Still attached to the What the fuck, yo? Got that one off. It's off. Really should be touching those. Got it. Keep yeah, but we still got a problem here. Put it in here, I'll carry it. Okay, follow me. Come on. You really Move need to stop ass. standing still. That's why that hook is amazing. Watch the glass. Don't want to cut yourself. Okay, so now we're on a roof. Do you ever stop complaining? Come on. <laughs> Come on, what are you, chicken? Jump. What did you call me? Well, now that you mention it. <laughs> and Come back on. in. Later. Something I gotta do first. What? Catch you later. Wait, you've still got the battery. Yeah, I think I'll hold on to it. Make sure you don't leave without me. See you back in class. Molly! Damn it, what the hell is she doing? Getting into trouble. You sure you two don't need any help? We're taking care of it, Lee. Don't worry. Okay. Oh, we got the battery. Little help! Little oh, help geez. here! Each other just yet. Let's get the hell back to the classroom. Give us a hand with these fuel cans. They weigh a goddamn ton. The glass sounds like it's cracking. Hey, 
How'd you guys make out? We got the fuel. Awesome. Good job, guys. How you doing with that door? Not so good. Here, let me give you a hand. Did you get that battery yet? Yeah, Molly has it. She should be back here soon. She'd better be. I trust her. Ooh, we can talk about Bree. Bree? Hey, Lee. Thanks for all your help back there. I don't think we would have made it without you. No problem. We're all on the same team. What do you think about this whole Crawford situation? I'd rather not talk about it. Too many awful memories. Even being back here gives me a bad feeling. Even now, with everyone dead? I got no sympathy for what happened to these people. They weeded out the sick and the old. Even children. Those least able to defend themselves so that they could save their own skins. Whatever happened here, however Crawford fell, I consider it poetic justice. Damn, me too. Girl, that's cold. It's how I feel. If you'd seen what I seen, you'd feel the same. Mm -hmm. I didn't even n notice it. I didn't even go through it, and I feel the same. How long have you known Bert? A couple of years. He ran our support group. He was really great helping me come to terms with my disease. But how do you come to terms with something like this? With a place like Crawford? I don't know what I or, or the other survivors would have done without Vernon. He's the one who held us together, kept us alive. Good man. So you're a cancer survivor, like Vernon and the others? Yeah, I was diagnosed when I was in college. Been getting treatment ever since. Just when I was starting to get better, when I thought there might be some hope, all this happened. Bad, bad. I lost my whole family. I'm the only one who survived. Funny how things work out, huh? Yep. I'm a little busy here, Lee. Maybe you should go get that battery or help with the medicine. We already got the battery. What do we still need? We already got the fuel and the battery. Once we find some medicine, we'll be good to go. So where's this battery you found? Molly has it. She ran off to do something. Well, she'd better bring it back here. I don't know why you trusted that girl with it. We hardly know her. She saved your life, didn't she? <laughs> yeah, but what has she done for me lately? <laughs> Insensitive and unappreciated of prick. Definitely. Shit ton. Oh. Shit. Kristen Vernon must be trapped in there. Actually, heavily uh, helped. <laughs> Don't shoot. What the hell happened? They wandered into the hallway after we got inside. I think they must have heard us rooting around in here. The whole place is infested. They're everywhere. Calm down. I took care of them. What about the meds? Did we find what we need? Yeah, that's our other problem. Take a look. Stuck behind a mesh fence. Looks like they were keeping all the prescription meds in that safe, locked up tight. There's no way we can bust it open? Maybe with enough time, but I don't know how much of that we have. Be a hell of a lot quicker if we just knew the four-digit combination. Well, I doubt they just wrote it down and left it here for us to find. We should just try busting it open. We don't have any other choice. Okay, you get started. 
I'll take a look around, see if I can find anything useful. The problem with that is if you tried busting it open, then if you damage the lock, you won't be able to actually use the combination correctly. Not working. Just a bunch of papers. No safe combination, though. What is this? A copy machine. Not that it matters with no power around here. I'll have to take time to rest later, I think. Hey, Krista. Yeah? I hope I did the right thing leaving Clementine back at the house. What else were you going to do? Bring her on a dangerous mission? I know, I know. Just want her to be safe. Why shouldn't she be? No offense, Krista, but Omid's pretty sick. If he dies with Clementine well, I shouldn't have said house, that. That is not going to happen. Do you hear me? That is not going to happen. We're going to get these meds to Omid, and he's going to be fine. He's going to be fine. You're right. I'm sorry. Are you feeling okay? I'm fine. Why are you asking me that? It's just that you've been looking a little pale the past couple of days. You've been throwing up. Oh, you... come on. You just dug up a rotting dog carcass. I'm surprised we weren't all throwing up. Lee, I'm fine. Quit worrying about me, okay? Worry about Omid. We've got to get him these meds. Are you making any progress with the safe? No. Without the combination, I don't know how we're going to get this damn thing open. If we don't get back to Omid with some medicine soon... It's okay. We'll figure it out. <laughs> Look, Lee. I just want to get back to Omid. Let me do my thing, all right? Okay. Go back to being pretty much uh, emotional Looks wreck right sturdy. now. No way we're going to force that open. We might be able to find something to pry it open, but it'll take time. We don't have time. Omid needs that medicine. We have to get it open now. What's this on the floor? It's a sonogram. There's dried blood on this printout. And on the floor. Looks like a trail of it from the safe to the camera over there. Then out the door. What the hell happened here? Someone got shanked. Y'all already checked these drawers? Yes, Lee. Nothing in there worth taking. Uh, already cleaned out. The way this camera is set up, it looks like it would have had a pretty good view of that keypad. I wonder if it caught someone punching it in. Maybe. Looks like some kind of medical file. Anna Correa. Guess she must have been a patient here. And what's this? I think maybe we just got lucky. That'd be a first. <laughs> Bones probably haven't worked in months. Can you look at the medical, a medical file for a woman named Correa. How's it coming? Slow. Too slow. I'm worried that by the time we manage to get this thing open, it may be too late. How much time do you think Omid has, Doc? You want my medical opinion? The sooner we get him some strong antibiotics to start fighting that infection, the better. Let's just leave it at that, huh? Molly helped me get the battery we needed. That's great. One down. Where is she? She took off. Had some kind of errand she needed to run. Took off? With the battery? Yeah. Don't worry. She'll be back. I hope so. <laughs> that girl doesn't really strike me as a team player. More the mercenary kind. Ah, she helps out in a pinch. Hey, Doc. Uh, I just wanted to thank you for coming with us. And for all your help. I really appreciate it. Don't mention it. It's times like these we've got to help each other the most, right? And we're no better than those Crawford sons of bitches. I heard that. I'll go <laughs> see if I can find something that'll help us get that safe open. Good idea. My 
can't use the hallway door yet because we still got this. Vernon, Krista, come look at this. This is day 82 since the outbreak. 1547, Dr. Logan in consultation with patient Anna Correa. Why are you recording this? Regulations. Oberson has ordered me to keep records of all medical examinations and consultations. I need you to brace yourself, Anna. The sonogram confirms that you're pregnant. Yep. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. As you know, the rules are very clear. The termination is mandatory. You don't have to tell them. Tell them it was just nausea. But you gave me something for it and it went away. This is my problem, not yours. If Oberson finds out that I concealed evidence of a pregnancy, I'm sorry, but these are the rules. I'm gonna give you a sedative. It'll make the procedure easier on you. I don't want the procedure! I want my baby! I can't do this! I can't do this! Anna, you don't have a choice. Now, if you like, you can take some time with this. But I need you to come back no later than tomorrow. Or I'll have no choice but to inform Oberson myself. I'm sorry. He had a gun on him, too. Damn it. We almost had it. What the hell kind of place was this? Like Molly said, the worst kind. Lee, maybe there's another tape. We gotta keep looking. I think I recognize that doctor. He was one of the walkers out in the alley by the auto shop. Maybe you should search it. See what he's got on him. <laughs> if you can get to him. Uh, I didn't want to. This is no, day I... 82 since the outbreak. 1547. Dr. Logan. Ah, I didn't want to do that. Anna Correa. Oops. Sorry, Why folks. Why are you recording this? Regulations. <laughs> Oberson I didn't know you could do this again. All medical examinations and consultations. <sighs> I need you to brace yourself, Anna. The sonogram confirms that you're pregnant. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. As the whole know, the rules are very having clear. to get rid of the pregnancy is mandatory. Is not good. You don't have to tell them. Tell them it was just nausea. But you gave me something for it and it went away. This is my problem, not yours. It just means that as the people die, got old and died, they well, even just got old. I'm sorry, but these are the rules. You'd be whittling away I'm big give time. You a sedative. It'll make the procedure easier on you. I don't want the procedure. I want my baby. I can't do this. I can't do this. Anna. You don't have a choice. Now, if you like, you can take some time with this. But I need you to come back no later than tomorrow. Or I'll have no choice but to inform Oberson myself. I'm sorry. Clap. Bang. Alright, good. Now that that's done... Ugh. Really... I am sorry about that, folks. Did not mean to replay that. Alright, let's go see how many walkers are in the hall, in the alleyway, I mean. Going this way, lead out against the wall. Noting. See some sliding, that's about it. Oh shit. How'd he get in there? Nice splatter. Completely forgot about that walker being there.
Should have checked before you jumped. Can you open the garage door? Walkers in there. Oh, never mind. Oh yeah, the walkers all got in there. Stop the zombie. There you go. This is definitely the guy. Maybe he still has his gut on him. This might be just what we need. And what's this? Looks like some kind of code. But six twenty six thirty combination was only four numbers. Shit, time to go. <laughs> How are you getting back over the fence, though? Safe combination was four numbers. Right here is another combination. This must have been his locker. There you go. Hey, David didn't get that close to me. You saw those bodies being spread out. I took care of them pretty lickety split. I found two more tapes. One of them is dated October 10th. That's the day after the first one we watched. Put it in. Have you made a decision? I thought you said I didn't have a choice. Well, technically you do. You can terminate the pregnancy or leave Crawford. Of course, that would be a death sentence for both you and your unborn child. Maybe that's best. I stayed up all last night thinking about this. Why are we even trying to survive? To keep on living? If this is what it takes. If this is what it's turned us into. I don't make the rules, Anna. Doctor, I'm begging you. Please help me. Maybe one day, when things are different, you can try again. But for now, today, we have to do this. Oh, yep. That's one way to die. Never mind, took his gun. No. No. More importantly, we got the combination. I think she's pregnant. Krista, are you all right? What's wrong? It's nothing. That was just hard to watch. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. All right. Let's get those meds and get the hell out of here. We're in business. Antibiotics, morphine. We'll take as much of this as we can carry. Okay, I think we're good. This is more than enough for your people and mine. Let's go. You know, I found a third tape in the locker outside. Maybe there's something else on there. We got the meds for Omid. That's all I care about. We'll head back to the classroom. Don't take too long, Lee. So now we just need Molly and her, uh, which we call it? We just need Molly and the battery. Time for secrets. Secrets. That's messed up. Listen, as fun as it hey. was, I have to put a stop to this little arrangement. This is the last I can give you. Why? Overson had someone down here yesterday taking inventory. He's really cracking down. I just can't risk it. We had a deal. Yes, we had a deal. We don't anymore. My sister needs this medicine. Without it, she'll die, or she'll start showing symptoms, and they'll take her away. I can't let that happen. I'm sorry, Molly. I've done all I can, but I yep. have to look out for myself here. Yeah, that's the Crawford way, isn't it? Well, 
shit. I'm the only one that knows about it. The m controls are really wonky there. Oh, Jesus hey. Thought you scared the shit out of me. Where the fuck have you been? Sightseeing. I'll take that battery now. Oh, yeah. Uh, about that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Here you go. And my pocket of infinite holding. Nothing. It's a picture. You can quit with the act, Molly. I know you're from Crawford. What? Who told you that? I saw you on a security tape. The founder of Better Lie. I said there were stories about Crawford. I never said that's how I knew about it. I never lied to you, and even if I did, so what? I don't owe you anything. You saved my life twice, but you can't tell me the truth? Are we really gonna do this now? I guess that's up to you. I used to live here with my sister. She was 14 years old. When the dead started walking and Crawford shut itself in, it seemed like a pretty good deal at first. We were safe. We had everything we needed to survive. Then the rules started coming down. No one who couldn't justify their place and their keep. No one who required special care. My sister diabetic, diabetic, yep. Needed By insulin. Rules, that made her a liability. I kept it a secret. Kept her safe for as long as I could. But in the end, I couldn't protect her. That's when I got out. Crawford... They always talked about how their system worked. How anything was better than becoming one of them. But I saw what they'd already become. I just wish I could have seen it before it was too late. Before they came and took my sister away. Oh. This is all I have left of her. I didn't have time to take it before I got out of Crawford. I just wanted it, okay? It's okay, Molly. I understand. Just she appreciates your sympathy. What the hell? I think that's our cue to get the hell out of here. Um. You saw that, right? Oh, Jesus! Shit! Ben. Sorry, sorry. I just got spooked by those bells, and then I heard someone coming. We're okay. Did you get that door open in the classroom? Not yet. Kenny sent me out to look for something we can use to bust it open. I found this. Oh, shit. Uh, ben? Where did you get that? I just found it. It was stuck in the door handle at the end of the hallway back there. Oh, no. Oh, shit! <laughs> yep. This is awesome, this part. That... That's why Hilda is amazing. Bam! Took out four, well three. Lee, shoot this fucker! No! No! There we go. Oh, I didn't want to accidentally shoot her. Nice Saved Molly's life. Thank Good. me later. Come on! <sighs> ben, we gotta go. Ben, move your ass! Jesus, Ben can't even kill a walker. What the fuck is going on? They're coming. Oh, shit. That ought to hold them. Sir, but now how do we get out? Through the armory. We can just get this damn door open. Come on, damn you! This is my fault. All my fault. The hell's he babbling about? Ben, we talked about this. No, wait. I want to know what he meant. What do you mean, this is all your fault? Kenny, I'm so sorry. I'm so Not sorry. Now. Kid, this ain't the best time. Whatever you did, save it for later. I opened the door. I let them in. I said save it for after we get out of here. Ben, shut the fuck up. Fuck you, Lee. I can't do this anymore. It's been me all along, putting all of us in danger. Katja and Doug, it was all me. Oh, here we go. It was all me. Wait a minute. 
What are you saying? It was me who made the deal with the bandits at the Motor Inn, slipping them supplies. I thought maybe I could keep them off our backs. When it got discovered, that's when they attacked. That's when Duck... Yep, I knew it. Kitty man, I agree with you. You should kick his ass. But now's not the time. Gotta focus on getting out of here. You little piss ant! You're fucking dead, you hear me? Dead! My wife and child! You gotta both fucking kill! Kenny, listen to me. You can whip his skinny little ass later. But right now, we gotta go! Nice group you got here. Not the time, Molly. Yeah. This asshole thinks he's getting on my boat after what he did? He's out of his motherfucking mind! You hear me, shitbird? You can stay behind and fucking rot! Kenny, we'll sort this out later. After we get out of here, okay? Ain't nothing to sort out. I just told you the way it's gonna be. The boat's not big enough for all of us. Somebody's gotta get left behind. Might as well be this piece of shit right here! Well, I vote we leave it. I'm sorry, Ben. I know you mean well. But all I want to do is get back to Omid, and you put that at risk. I can't do this right now. I abstain. We'll figure this out later. What about the rest of us? Don't we get a say? Oh, shit. Now can we go? Damn right. Vernon, come on! I can't kick Ben out, even though I hate him. Door's busted. So much for the armory. What's left of it? A few rounds. That's it. You didn't close that door behind us? I could. The lock was busted. <laughs> great. Just fucking great. Come on. There's got to be a way out down here. No, you should have went up. Yep. Fuck! Ah! It's not going to hold. Back upstairs. Lee, look. Shotgun. Nice shot. Oh shit, he got to me. Fuck. Okay, I guess I can't do it twice in a row. Select your light to free it, look up to fight off walkers, yeah. It's the first time I've died there. I got too greedy. Drop kick him. Up and over. Just don't lose the X. Oh shit, you lost the X. <laughs> Come on! Any way out of here? This leads to the roof. We might be able to find a way down from there. You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? Yeah. Why? Never mind. I can see the sewer where we came in from here. I think we can do this. Well, what are we waiting for? Go, go! There I 
coming. Come on, let's go. Oh shit. The bell tolls for thee. Oh shit, there's a guy hanging. Gotta make a choice. We, we both know. Let me go. Ah, frag it. Save Ben's life. Go, go, go! Because there's not enough live people left, and there's too many walkers. Even if you can be a piece of shit most of the time. Oh, Mead? Clementine. Clementine. Took a walker out. You made it back. Told you I would, didn't I? Did you find my parents? No, we didn't. Sorry, sweet pea. I looked for them. But Honest with her. No. Clementine, what happened here? One of those things got inside. It tried to get upstairs. I stopped it. Upstairs? Oh, me. You did good, kiddo. Real good. Hey, what do you say we go check on Omi? Krista? Everything okay? Oh, me! Krista, don't! Oh, no, Stay Denny. back! I never should have left you. I'm so sorry. Krista, get away from him! Oh, he's awake. <laughs> hey. Back already? We got you medicine. Good. Feel like I could use some. You okay, kid? You look worse than I do. We almost didn't make it out of there because of this asshole. Should have left him behind when we had the chance. Guys, what the hell happened out there? Let someone else tell you. I got work to do. Okay, with a little luck, you should start feeling better pretty soon. I'll stay here for a few more hours to check on him. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks, Doc. Yes, thank you so much. <laughs> Maybe now's a good time for you and me to have a little talk in private. Listen, man, about what happened to don't beat yourself up over it. There was nothing you could have done. You want to know the worst part? What? I don't feel much. I mean, I don't feel enough. Shouldn't I be broken up over what happened to her? That's how I was when I lost my daughter. When I lost my friends in those first few weeks. But now, it's like I just take something like this in stride. Like this is what our world is now. And it's getting numb. Just get used to it. What did you want to talk to me about? I know you care about Clementine. Anyone can see that. And I know you want what's best for her. But this plan of yours, putting everyone on a boat with no destination, do you really think that's her best chance of finding somewhere where she can be safe? Because I don't. So I want to make you an offer. What kind of an offer? I'll take her off your hands. 
take her back with me to my people. We're well supplied, well hidden, and a lot of us have had kids of our own. And now Crawford's fallen, we got nothing left to fear from them. She'll be safe with us. Safer than she will be if she stays with you, I promise you. That's what you want for her, isn't it? To be safe? I need to think about this. You're coming at me with a lot here, Vernon. I need to think it over. Of course, take your time. But I want you to think about some things. You're a good man, Lee. You've been protecting these people as best you can so far, and they look up to you. Rightly so. But it's different with a child. You might have brought her this far, but sooner or later she might ask you for more than you can give her. I'm sorry sure he is. that's hard to hear, but it's the truth. Hunting for I her parents. It, Let me think about it, okay? You do that. That and the radio guy. Which, you know, roundabouts back to her parents. Hey, going somewhere? Yeah, I'm about to head out. I, I just wanted to say thanks for everything. It's been fun. Oh. What are you talking about? Kenny's working on the boat right now. Thought you were coming with us. God knows you earned it. Yeah, I've been thinking it over. It's not for me. Sounds like it'd be pretty crowded, and I never did like the water. You sure about this? I'm sure. I've always done better on my own anyhow. Listen, I'm not much for goodbyes. Tell the others for me. Sure. You take care of yourself, Molly. You too, Lee. Oh. And you be sure to take care of that little girl. You know she thinks the world of you. Good luck. Ain't nothing to do with luck. She might be meaning to take over Crawford for herself. She might be uh, having too much sentimental value in the area. Cause, you know, her sister passing away there and all. Kenny's working on the boat. I know. What are we going to do after he fixes it? Where will we go? I, say, I, don't, I don't know. know. We'll figure it out. We always do. Graham, honey, what's wrong? Is Ben going to be okay? He doesn't seem the same since he got back. Ben's a good kid. I think he's just feeling guilty about some of the decisions he's made. He's gotten to feeling like he's a burden on the rest of us. Before we leave tomorrow, will we have time to look for my parents? Ooh. I'd like to, Clem. But I don't think we'll have time. We really shouldn't stay here any longer. It's not safe. Honestly. I'm sorry, Clementine. I'm so sorry. change that up a little bit usually I reach out for her but unfortunately in that time she uh that was a bad maneuver she um she kind of flinches away from you bad move Clementine. Clementine?
It's like a nightmare sequence. Clementine? Clementine! Oh, shit. Yep. No. 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 Fuck. Lee? Lee? You out here? Lee. Well, me, it's walking now. Are you crazy? What are you doing out here? It ain't safe. Lee? Where's Clementine? She's not in her room. Vernon ain't in the house either. What the hell is going on? Whose blood is that? Not to conceal it. It's mine. Oh my god. No way. No. No fucking way. There's no time to worry about me. Clementine's gone. There's no chance she just wandered off on her own? No. No way. Then who the hell took her? I don't know. Last night Vernon came to me and offered to take her with him. Said she'd be better off. Son of a bitch. I knew we couldn't trust that fucker. Wherever she is, I have to find her. Okay. What do you need from us? Clem may not have much time. We have a better help. chance of finding her if we all go together. Who's with me? We're all responsible for Clementine. And in your condition, you may not make it to her in time. She needs our help. All of our help. Damn right. We can't let you do this alone. Yeah. So that's settled then. We'll look for Clementine together. Hell yeah. What are we waiting for? Thanks. Yeah. That's two people. I appreciate it. Really. Lee, man. You know I care about Clementine. And I am a Christian man. I keep asking myself, if this was me, asking you for help, asking you to put your life on the line, would you be there for me? Has there been plenty of oh, times really? where you ain't You're gonna pull this shit? Kitty man, I'm begging you here. I can't do this alone. I need your help, please. You might not have been keeping score, Lee, but I have. And you've been looking out for yourself more often than your friends. Really? Well, Maybe that's a good thing, because you're on your own on this one. Fuck you too, Kenny. What about I always you? end up getting that. I don't know. Whatever you think is best. Clementine's one of the few good things left in this world. She always had a kind word for you, Bill. But she needs you now. Don't you think you owe it to her to help? You're right. I owe her. I swear. Before this is all over, I'm gonna show you I can do something right. I'll prove it to you. You'll see. Give Ben okay, a chance guys, to prove himself. Go find Vernon. See if he took her. Let's head out. I'll get the boat out onto the river. Figure I can wait there until you get back, or at least until nightfall. You're still gonna take me, even Ben. Yeah, we'll figure out what to do about that when the time comes. Come on, guys, let's go. So much back and forth. 
I don't know what it is that I had to do to get Kenny to help out. I think there is a way to get him to help out. Oh, they cleared out. They cleared house. Shelves are bare. Looks like they got out of here in a hurry. Vernon, get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here. All I want is the girl. Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt. That sounds wrong. You're supposed to say Clementine. It makes it sound like you're a kidnapper. Uh-oh. Oh yeah, Vernon was talking about the train. That must have been a herd of walkers. A massive herd. Yep. Clementine, are you all right? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch. Who is this? It's not Vernon, if that's what you're thinking. And you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine. But if I were you, I'd choose my next words very carefully. He didn't say anything. The Walking Dead, Episode 5, No Time Left, aptly named. Ugh. Still trying to figure out how the hell you get Kenny to help. The boy in the attic. Did you kill the boy in the attic? You and 73% of players killed him. Yeah. I did that for Kenny, just like I took out his son for him. Didn't make him have to mercy kill either of them. I put the blood on my hands... Just because at the very beginning I didn't go after Duck instead of uh, Herschel's son. Ugh. I even sided uh, cite, with uh, Kenny more times than I usually do. <sighs> Hippocratic Oath. Did you lie or threaten Vernon? Vernon. You have 57% of players are rational and honest. Yeah. Because there's no reason to be mean. They were just scared. Home Alone. Did you bring Clementine with you to Crawford? You and 52% of players left her at the house. <laughs> you 48%ers? Friggin' psycho bringing her to Crawford. There was just red flags abound about that place. Especially for children. For whom the bell tolls? Did you let Ben fall to his death? You and 45% of players pulled him up. Yes, he's a shitbird. Yes, he's pretty much useless. But he is one of the few remaining survivors. So... I believe that Lee would ultimately try to help him. So I usually always pull I, I Actually, I've always pulled him up. I have never let him drop. Yet. The bite reveal. Did you reveal your bite to the group? You and 80% of players showed the bite. Yes, I'm showing the bite now. It pretty much fosters trust and honesty with the rest of the group. And I'm going to get sick anyways. Lee's going to pretty much start showing symptoms. And that's when it's going to get out. And it's better to let them know now than later. Because that way you'll end up getting their assistance. Yeah. Who came with you? I got a 14 percentile. 16% of people got all five? How do the hell you get all five people? 
<laughs> that's one of the shittiest combinations to get is just you and Ben. It's it's worse than just being by yourself. Oh man, I really wish I had gotten the 16 percentile. How how do you get that one though? It's funny. I always end up with these four. Well, there we go, around every corner. This has been part four of my playthrough for Telltale's The Walking Dead Season 1. If you'd like to go ahead and give me a thumbs up and hit that like button. If you're, not a uh, if you're not a subscriber to my channel, go ahead and subscribe. Keep up the content. Comment down below and tell me what you think about the game and my gameplay. No spoilers, please. Just for all those people that are still new to the game's story. And I will catch you in part five. See you then. Later.